Germany's way of destroying the global biosphere and creating climate injustice goes way beyond just mining and burning lots of dirty coal. Germany's wealth, which is obviously kind of the envy of the world right now, is based on selling cars, essentially. Now, cars aren't a particularly ecologically friendly form of transport. We are selling cars to the rest of the world and our wealth is therefore based on destroying the biosphere, on creating climate injustice. The German transport sector, the car industry, hasn't reduced its emissions a single bit in the last 25 years. They're just going for growth and maximizing profits. And in a way, that's the th you could say if coal is the first way that Germany is destroying the climate and they're exporting lots of cars are the second. The third is the fundamental assumption that Germany's wealth is based on producing more and more and more industrial goods for export, which is a sort of perfect crystallization of the problem that we're facing, even if we say switching to renewable energies. Because we all live in systems that are based on permanent growth. And as somebody once said, the only people who, who believe that you can have infinite growth on the finite planet are either madmen or economists. It's not going to work. You have a finite planet, infinite growth, there's going to be a problem. And that problem isn't one where we all suffer, we all sit in the same boat. Um, unless it's the Titanic where you still have uh, lifeboats for, for first class. Climate change always affects those the most who have done the least to cause it, and those who have profited most from the activities that destroy the climate have the resources to protect themselves. I mean, it's a bit of a banal example, but Holland is literally building swimming cities, and Bangladesh is literally drowning. Right, that is climate injustice. Climate change is about polar bears, and it's about the weakest and most marginalized in the world suffering from the activities of the richest and most powerful in the world which takes us right back to Germany, right? Germany has this image as this nice country, we're good to refugees, we're, 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 we're an environmental leader, but actually the way Germany is running Europe and is running its economy is precisely what is wrong with this world.